Scratch is 15 years now. Happy birthday, Scratch! Though Scratch has come a long journey, and today we are gonna travel back 13 years and look at the last version of the Scratch 1.x series, Scratch 1.4. I don't think that's a problem. Download, install, run. So it just looks like Scratch 3.0. The blocks are on the left side, the stage is on the right. And Scratch 1.4 was released on July 2, 2009, 13 years old. Okay, so if we click on the stage or a sprite, this square thing comes and highlights the work area. And all these sprite controls are located on the top. We could rename it, code it, add. And oh, we could stick the draggable mode. And let's go for sensing and we got no blocks to set the draggable mode. That's really interesting. I think oh this is the rotation, so we could set the rotation style. And that looks really really cool. So what does this line do? Oh oh it rotates the sprites. Not the best but looks pretty fun now let's look at the costume yeah. and yeah let's click on edit and we got a separate paint agent let's go a square and we got a separate button for the border to set it to red oh and it draws the border separately Okay, now how do you change the size of this folder? So you click on the paint brush, set the brush size, and then draw it again. Really, really time consuming. And Squad 3.0 did a really great job with the painting. Okay, now let's look at a 13 year old sound like. Can I come and play? Yeah! Sing me a song, sing, sing me a song. Can I come and play? Join us. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, we got music loop. Really, this 13 year old sound library is just thick. So okay, now let's look at a 13 year old sprite library. Where is the sprite library? Oh, here. Animals. So most of these sprites are still present on Scratch 3.0, 13 years old. I'll just look at these cats. And you may see some sprites with script like this. So if you just encode it, and it automatically comes with scripts like on a game. Cool and kind of annoying cause you need to delete every time you import it. Now let's try to import a sprite. Oh, this is so hard to navigate. Why is this this much hard? That's gonna take a while. A few moments later. One eternity later. Okay, that's over. That took a lot of and now let's just try encoding and okay it worked we got scissors uh what could we do oh oh we could delete blocks and i think the stamp tool i think it duplicates yeah it does duplicate so could we just drag and just delete the block Yes, and we could just right click and duplicate. I don't know why Scratch added that. And on one of the beta images, we could see a selection. So Scratch just press delete on that one. We got this, I think, the zoom button for the work area. Nope. Okay, it's the grow sprite. So we could just increase the size and also shrink it. Okay, there's no undo option, just an undelete. 
So if you're still watching, then thank you and make sure to give it a like because you're probably enjoying the video and subscribe to the channel. Okay, now let's look at all the remote stuff that's quite stored. Nah, we don't need them and just spam the delete button. Not a remote content, but a kind of an added one. We got no event section. There are the green flag click and the space click. All those head blocks are there. And ooh, a new block. I mean old, old. It's a 13 year old block. A forever if block. So now in Squats 3.0, you need both forever and if blocks. But in Squats 1.4, just one block. And the stop all block got the stop sign. Okay, we got the pen blocks. Oh, set pen shape. What does it do? Okay, now let's just set this pen shape to zero. Okay, nothing. I don't know what this thing does, but let's just check it again. Oh, so this is the pen shape. But again, scratch just. Okay, enough with all the pen stuff. Okay, the effect block. Mosaic effect. What does it do? Just change the mosaic effect by 25. Oh, that, that's really cool. Why did Squash remove that? This looks really, really cool. Here we just got thousands of those. Okay, now let's check the right click option. We got the cleanup block. And save picture of script. We could save a picture of the script. So it's just easy to share. And a thing I think which is really cool and time saving is fixing the operator. Simply just right click on the block and select the operator you want. But on Scratch 3.0, which is the latest version, you need to select, delete, drag a new block and drag it again and accidentally delete the whole thing. But don't worry, Scratch Addon has got you covered. Just search for block swapping to fix from almost all the blocks and save block as an image to save your code as an image. There's also to directly share it to the website that the latest version does not have. So finally, Squash 1.4, which was the base of Squash 3.0, kind of overpowered it in some aspects like in the block switching. 1.4 still up to this date works fine without that many errors and bugs, considering it was from 2009. 13 years ago. So overall, Scratch 1.4 is great and kind of reminds Scratch of the features that needs to be added for the future Scratch version. Scratch 4.0, who knows? So if you want to make an awesome game like this, make sure to check this video.